Okay, thanks, Katie, for uh, for the introduction. And yes, the weather here in Spain is so-so. Uh, as I said before, it's uh, rain season here. It starts till April, so we'll we'll figure that out. But uh, looking forward to you know reaching the summer. So in Spain, we will love the sun, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. So first of all, thanks everyone for taking the time today to, to spend some, some time with us and to talk about premium and uh, the digital tools that we're gonna use for that. So I'm gonna share my screen to start my presentation. So Katie, just let me know if you can see my screen. Yeah, that's coming up. Perfect. So, so I'm gonna start just talking about uh, our naming because sometimes it generates confusion. So a lot of people knows us uh, because of the 3D digital venue name, but some people knows us uh, because of our company name, which is Mobile Media Content or MMC. Okay, so the company name is MMC and we commercialize the platform called 3D Digital Venue. So, what do we do? So uh, we are a Barcelona-based company that virtualizes venues. So basically what we do is we'll convert technical information. You can see here cut uh, drawings or uh, rabbit models or any source of architectural information or technical information that comes from the industry. And we convert it uh, into what you can see on the right-hand side. Even though it could uh, seem that it's a picture, it's a rendering that we have generated from our uh, custom methodology developed over the years. So we pick the reference materials on the left hand side, we create the basic volumetries or the basic 3D models that you see in the middle. And after that, with the video game engines, we have developed our own set of algorithms that allows us generating all the seat views, for instance, for each individual seat or each individual premium area, which is one click. Uh, where we are. So right now we are present pretty much everywhere. So I wanted to include this pie chart just to let the audience understand uh, where our business comes from. As you can see, the, the vast majority of our business now comes from the US. So even though we are a Barcelona based company, uh, a lot of uh, our clients are in the US and, and thanks to that is uh, we have signed the strategic partnerships with a lot of ticketing partners that allow us uh, to sit in front of uh, remarkable clients. So I'll show you some pictures after this, uh, uh, this pie chart. After the US, as you can see, the main, uh, let's say market is the UK. So we have a uh, very interesting names over there, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Newcastle, uh, and a wide variety of others are also clients of us. And on the third, uh, the third position, we have Spain. So even though we are a Spanish-based company, so we, we also develop a uh, wide variety of other things. Uh, as you can see, I have grouped the rest of Europe. Uh, I haven't broken down them by country, but this includes Italy, Germany, France, and the rest of the countries. And we have started to, to have some presence in Asia Pacific. Uh, we, we landed some partnerships with uh, Ticket Tech, both in Australia and New Zealand. And we also have some partnerships with uh, Access, uh, the, the AG ticketing platform in Japan, just to give you an example. And last but not least, we have some presence in Latin America. So it's a difficult market because uh, deploying certain digital services is challenging uh, because of the pricing. So, let me show you how the venues that we build look like. So I'm going to show you a wide variety of venues because premium does not only have to do with sports, because normally everyone believes that premium is only associated to sports. So we work quite well, just to give you an example, with Teatro Colón in Argentina, both for the GA areas and also for the what they call the palcos. The palcos are the premium areas. So the, this balcony is that you can see on the right and on the left hand side. So this one will look more familiar for you guys, uh, for the ones in the, in the UK. The Oval is also a client of us in partnership with our strategic partner, Secutex, the ticketing platform. So we together developed both the G areas and also the, the premium uh, areas for these guys because they not only uh, sell the, the premium area itself for the match day, they also have certain rooms that are customized and sold for events or for uh, any other type of, uh, you know, uh, uh, needs that the clients have. Another cricket ground, Lords, it's also a client that worked with us 
not only for the premium areas, but also when they were building the, the new stand that you can see here. So all these stands have been built during the last two years and they used this to simulate the whole cricket ground and be able to pre-sell all the inventory, both the GA and also the premium inventory to accelerate the revenue and be able to anticipate that revenue and reuse it for internal purposes. So we created the, the 3D model, we validated it with them. And after that, we launched the season ticket campaign with uh, SeatGeek as the ticketing partner. And after that, we launched the premium sell directly with an internal sales tool that these guys developed. And it was quite a success. So this is, for instance, how an interior looks like. So what you can see when you select the tool that we create for them. And as you can see, we have uh, some hotspots. These circles that you can see here are clickable. So you can click and move across the, the space, like if you were on a Google Street View uh, software, so to speak. So you can move freely around the space. You can check all the details, or you can click on certain areas and, for instance, take a look at the menu or take a look at the different options that you have here for food and beverage. So this is another client of us, so uh, Real Madrid in Spain, you know that they are in between of a major renovation of the stadium. They are creating the new Santiago Bernabeu, and we have been working for them just for the GA areas, but also for the premium areas. So right now they are reducing the capacity of the stadium just to have less seats, uh, in particular on the upper bowl, in exchange of having more premium areas and more premium seats. So just to give you an example, this is one of the restaurants that they have, and we've been working with them just to integrate this solution under their website and to provide a virtual visit that any client can experience before going to the match itself. Because it's true that for these big teams, there's a lot of people that are season ticket holders and they don't have a need to check how the premium areas look like but they sell or they rent these spaces to a lot of potential companies and also sponsors that sometimes are asking us to customize the space, for instance, to change how the dressing for a particular dinner or a particular event could look like or customize and add the logos to the, each of the screens that you can see here. So another client in another geography uh, in Portugal, uh, sporting uh, Benfica, which is uh, one of the biggest teams in, in the region. So as you can see, they also uh, contacted us to promote the stadium itself, to be able to sell uh, season tickets, renewals and relocations. And we'll talk about these during the presentation. It's not only selling the season tickets, but also having the opportunity to upgrade their, their seats. So this is part of the conversation that we're gonna have today. So maybe I'm sitting on a particular section of the stadium, but I want to upgrade my seat to a more premium standing where I can have also access to interiors and premium areas. So we have developed digital tools that these guys are using just to upgrade their season ticket holders. So this is, for instance, one of the uh, Hublot launches, one of the most exclusive areas that they sell. And with the tools that uh, I'm going to show today, they are able to upgrade the season ticket holder that uh, uh, went to a particular match and they saw that they had some free spaces so they can send a targeted uh, information, an email or even a notification via the official application to the, to the client and the client can upgrade their seat uh, pre the uh, match or even during the match itself. So this is another example of one of our clients in, in the US, the Cleveland Cavaliers. So this, uh, these partners work with us initially just to virtualize the, the bowl and be able to sell their tickets through SeatGeek. But uh, three years ago, they decided to uh, change completely all their premium offering. So they uh, started building all their premium areas. And one year before the opening, they used our technology to sell digitally all the premium areas, the clubs, the suites, and all these uh, uh, new and uh, that were not visible to the to the final clients through their iPads and, and be able to connect it with their Salesforce platforms. So the result was that they were able to generate additional $10, $10 million in additional revenue thanks to these tools. That was something uh, amazing from our point of view because they have an amazing 
a team that is capable to convince everyone, not only because of the digital tools, obviously. So this is how the uh, premium areas look like. So this one in particular is one of my favorites. So these are the the, bank, uh, the banker suites and the uh, the clubs that are under the the, the main stands. And uh, having licenses to access these particular areas cost normally several tens of thousands of dollars, uh, as you can imagine. But they give you access to the most exclusive. Uh, parts of the venue and also they give you core side seats which are the the, the most uh, challenging and the most precious seats of uh, of the venue so now that we've seen some uh, examples so i'm going to tell you how we do these because uh, it's true that we have uh, this uh, platform called three digital venue and what we are able to do as you can see here is to manage multiple configurations at the same time and for our uh, clients that rely on premium, this is something very important because they sell very expensive licenses, sometimes 20% of the seats of the venue generate 80% of the revenue for them. So we need to be able to represent all the events that they are able to manage in a year by year basis. For instance, in this particular example, T-Mobile Arena, it's a multi-purpose arena that has more than 200 events per year. So what we do is we digitize the venue in virtual reality and we create all the different configurations. As you can see on the left hand side, we have the UFC configuration and on the right hand side, we have the ice hockey. If I am a, a premium season ticket holder and I pay for my suite, I have access to all the events that happen during the year here. So we create a tool where you can consult how the views are going to be and the configuration of my suite is going to be for any of these particular events, both with dressings, logos, food and beverage, or any other details that are available to the client. So in a nutshell, and before I start just showing real examples, the platform that we create allows us to, uh, to work with any client through an API. So the API is the, uh, the main pillar that allows us to create mobile first experiences. And in the end, what we are generating is a visual front end that allows our clients to consult or check any seat view of the venue, any skybox, VIP suite, or any club lounge. <clears throat> the, the subsequent element is everything that we do is integrated within the purchase flow. So this is the most important thing. There are a wide variety of ways to digitize a premium area. You can have an interactive picture. You can create a PDF or you can create anything uh, that represents visually the, the space. But if you include it or you uh, make it part of uh, an interactive sales tool, this is the most important thing just to warranty that you're going to drive more conversions. Pardon me, but my, my throat was uh, hurting me a little bit. So in the end, what we're going to see here is once we we start working with a partner, we digitize their venue, as you can see on the left hand side, and this is what we call the venue virtualization. We digitize the venue, both uh, the GA areas and the premium seats. Then we have uh, the, the next pillar in the middle, which is we integrate these with any of their uh, ticketing partners or any of their sales tools. Sometimes there are partners that instead of using their ticketing partners to sell premium they do it through Salesforce or any other e-commerce platforms. And on the right-hand side, I'm gonna present you today what we call the seed management portal, which is a set of the standalone tools that we have developed over the years here at 3Digital Venue that allow you to have a visual environment to launch this uh, seed upgrade, renewals and relocations with a 3D front end that maximizes the conversion. The most important thing that we're gonna promote here is uh, each client defines their own business rules. For instance, if a season ticket holder has seats from the previous season the, and the club is willing to offer a better option for them, the club can decide, for instance, if they are uh, going to uh, allow the client to downgrade their seats or they are only going to uh, allow them to upgrade or to move to a similar space. So these are the things that this portal allows. And this is where I'm gonna concentrate my presentation right now. So we are gonna talk about the portal and we're gonna see how we sell premium. In particular, I'm gonna use the crypto.com, the, the former Staples Center uh, premium portal. 
And after that, we're going to see how we also provide the service called the uh, in-game seat upgrades, which the name is self-explanatory. When you go to a particular event, you can be uh, you can receive a notification just to upgrade your seat to a better location. So let me then introduce the concept of the seat management portal, as I said, where in a visual environment, as you can see on the left hand side, you're going to be able to see your current packages and decide if you want to upgrade them, keep them or just modify them. So, and for that, as I said, we're going to use the crypto.com arena. Uh, here, as you can see, I've used one image, which is the LA Lakers setup. So this image comes directly from one suite. Okay, so this is one suite uh, holder uh, that paid the, uh, the yearly license for premium. So you can have access to an LA Lakers match, or as you can see here, same layout for the Kings. So you can see that some seats have been removed. They have retractable seats that have been hidden under the stands. But with your uh, premium package, you also have access to the Clippers uh, that they also perform there until they have the new arena that will be uh, announced uh, really soon. But they also do a lot of concerts. Okay, So this is very interesting because they have uh, dozens of concerts over the years. So as you can see here, even though this is just a static image, now I'm going to show you some real moving elements to understand uh, what's the sense of what we do here. So again, Lakers, Clippers, Kings, and stage concert uh, amongst any other type of events because they have boxing, they have uh, motorsport events, or they have volleyball or any other events. So let me show you here with a short video uh, how we digitize the environment. So here you see a Clipper setup with this uh, fly-through environment where we digitized all the different elements. Now it changed into Lakers in real time. This is a fly through for all the premium areas and the clubs that we have digitized. So this is the Lexus Club, which is one of the, the spaces. And here I'm going to start. I'm going to stop it for a second. I'm going to start showing you how these guys sell their premium inventory with this seed management portal that we developed. OK, obviously, I have included uh, fake data because with the data protection, we, we cannot use real data and, and real pricing, but it's something that is uh, uh, enough just to understand how the process works. So I've logged here as my account. My account is this test at the digital venue. And as you can see here, I have always my uh, premium service manager accessible from the very beginning in case I have a, a doubt or I need to contact them for whatever reason. But otherwise the, uh, the system allow me to do these uh, as a do it yourself uh, environment. So here I have my previous premiere seat from my previous season. And here, what I can do is I can go and click on view seat just to see how my seats were in case I want to check because sometimes there are clients that have different packages distributed across the, the entire venue and maybe they don't have the seats altogether. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start the relocation process. And when I start the relocation process, as you can see here, I have my seats on the left hand side, but I also have uh, the opportunity to check all the premium spaces that are associated to my offer, okay? So my seats currently entitle me to have access to this particular club. And if uh, I want to move across the space, as you can see, it's been digitized and you have these little dots that allow you to move freely, like in a Google Street View approach, and obviously change uh, the, the setup of the, the different configurations that I see here. For instance, you see Lakers, but I can go at some point and decide to shift into uh, the Clippers or the concert setup. And as you can see, it changes dynamically in real time to just be able to see from a, a premium season ticket holder how my experience would look like. Here in purple, you see where my current seats are. And in blue, you see the available inventory. As you can see, we are only showing premium. And in green, you can see the suites that are available. And again, this is something that can be customized and the client decides whether they want to sell them directly on the C tool or they want to uh, sell them separately. In this particular example, the client uh, decided to sell suites separately because some of the suites had uh, uh, a tremendous price that was not something to, to be sold online and they preferred to keep it separately. But some other clients, they sell both 
the premium seat and also the suites together under the same process. So here we have selected the suite and as you can see I can check how the concert uh, setup looks like and uh, I can just check all the details for my view for the uh, exterior and also for the interior. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to select both of my seats and what I'm going to do is select a couple of new seats just to understand as you can see here I can click so my previous seats are discarded right now and I can go to the seat map with the inventory coming in real time and pick my seats as you can see if I'm doing hover I can see a small seat view or if I click it I can go to the full interactive 3D view. As I said before, you can have and apply custom business rules here, such as uh, prevent uh, isolated seats from you know, being sold. And the, the most important thing that we would like to highlight here is the possibility to sell additional packages on top of the seats. For instance, this is a challenge for some of our partners. Sometimes you cannot buy a season ticket uh, associated to a suite and then add a pass to the Lexus Club or the parking lot under the same process. You need to launch different processes, one to sell the season ticket, another one to sell clubs, and another one to sell parking lots. We are grouping all these elements under the same process, and we are allowing our customers to select multiple packages and to hold uh, uh, and to maintain all these business rules and to uh, to finalize the transaction and even collect payments if the client wants to. So for instance, here I'm adding two passes to the Lexus uh, club and two parking lots. And here, as you can see, we can see my previous seats on the left-hand side. I can see the new ones on the right-hand side. And here, for instance, you can see what I said before. The client doesn't allow season ticket holders to pay less. They need to pay the same amount or more in order to continue the transaction. And here you can see the additional packages that they have added to their, to their account. And then you proceed to check out and you will finalize the, the payment. So this is pretty much how a seat tool looks like and how these uh, clients are selling premium with uh, our portals. So before I jump into the next one, so I would like to highlight a couple of things here. So, uh, I've spoken about the 3D and the benefits of the platform, but as you saw for uh, crypto.com here, we created a 3D front end to sell their premium spaces, but this is not the only thing that we can do. As you can see on the right hand side, we have uh, the crypto.com, but in the middle we have what we call the 2D enhanced map or 2D HD map, but we can also create 2D maps for selling different uh, events for them. As you can see here, for instance, on the left hand side, they sell uh, events for the Sparks, which is another uh, NBA team that they have, another basketball team, sorry, that they have there under a 2D map because sometimes they want to uh, sell this, uh, this particular event faster. And I'm telling you these because for the next product that I'm going to show you right now, the in-game seat upgrade product, we don't necessarily need to have the venue created in 3D to make it happen. In other words, if you are a client and you are willing to implement an in-game seat upgrade uh, feature for your venue, we can create a 2D map like the one that you see on the left-hand side and make it happen. But let me explain to you what the in-game seat upgrade technology means. So the in-game seat upgrade technology allows generating additional revenue for uh, your entire venue. So as I said, it's not a secret that sometimes you go to a particular event and you see that there are better seats somewhere else. And maybe you are wondering if, uh, if uh, the client, uh, the club would allow me to pay some extra just to upgrade and have a, a better experience. So this tool is allowing us to, to do these. So venues and teams, they can upsell, as I say here, the inventory that is uh, uh, unused uh, before or even during the event. This is something that they can customize. We have a very simple backend where they can launch their event and they can decide when do they want to open the window of opportunity to upsell this uh, uh, unused inventory. And in the end, it's a tool to make sure that your fans feel that uh, you are taking care of them. So uh, in a nutshell, you wanna make your fans a loyal attendee of your events, okay? 
So as you can see here, you have the list of uh, available orders uh, that you have, and you can decide which ones do you want to upgrade to uh, your uh, better seat. So in the end, the tool needs to be simple. That's why I included only the uh, the mobile purchase flow because everything here is like a, it's a web app. It's you don't need to have a native application or something like that. It's intended to work on mobile or an, on a tablet environment. So the the thing is, you are going to receive a, an email or a notification from your club, and then you are going to jump into your mobile, and you are going to be able to check the best available seats or you can uh, check each individual seat virtually uh, as you saw from uh, our previous crypto.com experience. So you're gonna be able to pick your new location just in a couple of clicks and then be able to uh, upgrade to that particular location, just uh, paying the difference, obviously. So if for instance, you paid uh, 50 uh, pounds or $50 for a particular location and if you need to go to the new one and it costs 70, you are gonna pay for this 20. And then the, uh, the in-game seat upgrade tool is gonna change those seats and in the inventory and it's gonna generate the new QR code or the new barcode that you are gonna need to, to make sure that you have access to, this, uh, to the space. So it's a tool that is intended for the fans, but it's also intended for the teams because uh, in, in a nutshell, what we wanna do is to generate additional revenue, managing this inventory in real time, as I said here, and it's integrated with uh, the venue inventory through API. So for instance, in the US, we are certified with tickets.com for the Major League Baseball, as you can see here, so we can have access to the real time inventory but with other partners, we are also certified by them and we have access to the real feed of inventory, regardless if it's previous, the, pre, prior to the event or during the event. So the most important thing, and that's what the teams are telling us, is these tools uh, are helping them to identify potential season ticket holders, understanding who are the most active fans uh, across the venue and who are the ones that are uh, upgrading their experience potentially to better seeds or to better premium locations, okay? Because the tool is intended both for seeds and also for premium spaces. Sometimes it's not the secret that the premium spaces are uh, not used uh, as the, the, the clubs would like to. So you have the opportunity to uh, allow them to get into a, a shared suite, for instance. There are suites with eight, 12, or uh, 20 seats that sometimes are only half sold and you can just sell those spaces and, and allow the clients to get in. So I'm gonna show you a quick video on how the tool works. So here in, in this particular example, this uh, client just uh, took a look at the available options to upgrade their seat because uh, he's attending this particular event. So you can either go through the list or filter depending on the price that you would like to spend. And you can either consult on a list or consult interactively on the map because it gives you a better sense of where you are. When I click on a particular space, it tells you where it is and it tells you the price to upgrade there. You can go to section level, row level, or even seat level sometimes. You can check the view to understand if uh, it's worth it to spend that particular amount. And then when you click on the upgrade, it's going to tell you the amount that you need to spend just to to finalize it and as you saw in three clicks you can just upgrade your seat and it's going to uh, generate the new qr code or the new barcode that you're going to be able to use to to go to the new section okay so this is uh, again in a nutshell how the in-game seat upgrade tool works and i'm going to use just uh, for the last two minutes of my presentation another tool that our uh, premium clients are using, which is now that I'm collecting data and I'm uh, trying to understand how my clients are behaving inside my venue, we have created also what we call the seat chart, uh, the seating chart viewer, which is nothing else than an interactive tool where you can upload your data in a powerful business intelligence web environment. So that's the most important thing. Again, you don't need to install anything natively it's a web environment that it's either connected to your system or where you can upload a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet. And in real time is presenting multiple layers of data where you can see as I list here, seat status and categories. 
you can create your own reports for revenue analysis and pricing simulations, or you can filter by events. There are some, uh, I don't know, um, for instance, uh, concert promoters that want to see how the different uh, sets of inventory are sold. Some, sometimes they need to reserve some inventory for the promoters. They need to reserve some inventory for others that they have already committed. And in the end, it's a very powerful filtering and reporting tool that works in real time. And is, uh, as I say here, especially oriented or created for uh, the guys that are in charge of business development, operation, and ticketing teams. So this is how the tool looks like. On the left-hand side, you can see, for instance, for a major league baseball, the different ticket plans that they have, and they can filter and switch on and off all the different categories and then explore the resulting or calculate in real time the revenue that you are going to generate per category, per uh, section, or even per tier, as you can see here. We divide normally the venues in tiers. And if you select one tier, normally lower tiers, uh, in, in particular in the MLB, lower tiers are more expensive than the upper tiers, but uh, sometimes it's, it's the opposite depending on the competition that you go. So, this is a, a more closer look, just to give you an example, the ticket plans on the right hand side, the amount of revenue that they are generating and the different price scales, and obviously the, the average price for a particular season on uh, this particular client. So having said that, I think I'm done for today. Uh, I think I, I respected the 30, 35 minutes that we were talking before. Uh, it Time flies when you are talking and, and you are presenting things that, uh, that you like. So I'm guessing that now it's time for questions, Katie. So I'm going to switch off my presentation. So yes, yeah, that, sure. uh, that, that was incredibly comprehensive, Francis. So I'm not sure if there are going to be any questions, but if anyone does have a question, feel free to raise your virtual hand. Um, and I can either put you through as a panelist and you can ask the question, um, you know, in person or you feel free to use the Q&A um, at the bottom and we can answer any questions. Um, I know probably a lot of people are going off to uh, the, the next meetings. So what I'll do anyway, I, I'm going to, as I say, everyone that was registered for this webinar, we shall send you all a recording. Um, and I'll make sure that I include Francis's contact details um, in that, uh, you know, so obviously any questions, um, be, you, that's it, you see, Francis, you did your job so well. Um, you covered all the bases, um, so there were there were no uh, no additional questions. So that's always that's always good to see. But uh, it was great to uh, have you presenting, Francis. Thank you for that. And uh, as I say, we'll make the re the recording available to everyone and pass on your contact details. Okay, Katie, it's been a pleasure spending some time with you guys. So, and I really look forward to to seeing your faces in the future because it, now it's uh, kind of uh, unusual well, yeah. you're to see each other faces. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, hopefully we'll see some of you at ALSD um, in New York in July and then ALSD International at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in September. So uh, it'll be great to get back to in real life events again. Exactly. Really looking forward to it. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Thanks, Francis. Thanks, everyone, Thank for joining us. Thank you.